Alrighty, welcome back to Eternal's SMP, guys. My name is Bigly Shrunk, and welcome back to Spawn. It's been a while since we've been here, um, in a video. I know I was all over here during a live stream, but I'm just here to check some profits out. Uh, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, or here. No, but it's a good thing I came prepared with some sort of restock. And, and did they pay me yet? No, they did not. Alright, but if you guys remember in last episode, we had finished our front end, and we had done an eternal trial to give a cat named Dinnerbone to somebody. And we gave it to Mikey. Um, now this episode, we are going to do yet another eternal trial to start off, and then, big plans. Spend five diamonds on a shopping spree. Okay, okay, I can do that. Five diamonds on a shopping spree. One, two, three, four, five. Dark prismarine. Okay, you know what? How much is this? Two for three stacks. Okay, sure. Wait. Two for three stacks. Sure. You never know when these might come in. Uh, clouds farm. Need some honey blocks. So one diamond per. Okay. Let's buy one thing of honey blocks, because I'll probably need these in the future for a redstone build that I'm planning. It's flower shop. So how much is the question? Are there prices, Lou? Any stack for a diamond or 64 sorted items for two diamonds. Oh, okay. By his last stack of flowering azalea. Okay. There we go. Alright, now our last place I'm thinking is CK's Golden Carrot Farm. How many? Three stacks for a diamond. Alrighty. Pow, pow, pow. Now it's time to head home. And oh! It's a queen! The queen. I actually am gonna give her a gift. Same gift I gave Josh. Because if you guys saw my latest live stream, I did an ancient city raid. And during that ancient city raid, I got a little bit more than I bargained for. Um, that I anticipated getting. I have Nine of these Echo Shards. I'm about ready to make one more. I'm going to gift Queen a Recovery Compass. I did the same to Josh as well. I gifted Josh a Recovery Compass. And I'm about ready to gift one to Queen as well. Hello? Hello? Hello! Ah! <laughs> That was awkward. Hello. <laughs> I was talking and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm muted. But <laughs> I, I've, I've done that before. <laughs> All right. But yesterday, uh, at the time of recording, I went end our ancient city raiding mm -hmm. and I got a few things. So I'm going around uh -huh. gifting extra things I don't feel like I need. So Ooh. you are my next, next victim of gift giving. And I like where this is going. And he, I have a gift for you. I will accept. Ooh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. A recovery compass. Your very own recovery compass. I've because... never actually used one of these because right, I, I would, die a lot. <laughs> I would put that away as soon as possible because okay. it's not something you want to... When I first like learned about the recovery compass, I had it on me at all times kind of like a totem mm -hmm. and it didn't go well because I died and I'm like where's my recovery compass like you drop it it when was you on die. your dead yeah, body yeah it was on my corpse so yeah put that away yeah. uh, as okay. soon as you can also love the Christmas skin I think we're the only ones oh. rocking I think we're the only ones rocking out Christmas skins right now I think so and yeah yeah I think our eyes are identical 
Are they? Hold on, let me they... check this out. Oh my gosh, they're actually almost. Li they oh my gosh, wait they're a minute. They're actually almost. <laughs> they're identical. literally like identical. That's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. Whoa, that's freaky. They were twins. We're <laughs> Surprise, twins. everybody! <laughs> Secret <Ooh>. reveal. <laughs> that's the new Ooh. war. Long lost sister. For real. And long lost siblings. <gasps> <laughs> now that that has been completed, I am going to rename this and give a new challenge or chore for the Eternal Trials. Boom. It is laugh at literally everything someone says. And now I'm going to go put that into this here. And boom, there we go. It is now officially added to the Eternal Trials. Now back home, back to the base we go. Now, next order of business is something that I kind of wanted to do just out of the blue. Um, something that's been talked about for quite a while. And it actually has to do with the end. Uh, you see, the end is very messy uh, because when we were fighting the ender dragon and the wither especially when we were fighting the wither we had all those snow golems around if you guys remember that oh god uh it's a mess because there's a snow everywhere so what i plan to do now is just simply clean it up and make it look pretty because Yeah, look at all this. All the snows everywhere, all this crap around it. It just we could we could make this look a hundred thousand times better. So yeah, let's let's get cleaning. I can't believe it. The the end <laughs> looks like the end again. Holy cow. That was a lot of hard work at the expense of my comically large spoon. Yes, this diamond shovel I have right now is no longer my comically large spoon. It broke. And in a shamble, I was really trying to obtain books and you know enchant it this is the best i got efficiency one so we're going to make a quick stop at queen's bookshop to buy a new book but i oh my god i just this was so it took me about two and a half hours just to get all of the snow off the end holy cow the Eternals, the Eternals will thank me for this. So Queen's Bookshop should be just here past Eternia. Uh, going along this way, up here, to, there it is. Look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That's, that's really, really cool. That's a really, really cool shop. I love this shop so much. All right, but we got to go inside. Uh, if there is an inside. Yes, here it is. Now we have looting. Nothing. Collection. Okay. 
Efficiency, here it is. Efficiency five. Now how much for how much per book? Does it say how much per book? That's a good question. Ow. This is cool. This is so cool. I love this. There's respiration, projectile. He she really has every book in here. Holy cow. This is nice. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't say. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you... 10. 10 diamonds for an efficiency book. Let's head back home. Alright, hopefully this isn't too expensive. Okay, so now we're back to... It, you know, being regular. And... Sp <laughs> spoon... Mark two. There we go. So my next plan, as you can see here, I've already started to plan a little bit of a something idea. Um, it's going to be a nice little chapel-esque thing, uh, which is actually going to be my enchantment room. And behind it, for show, I'm thinking about having like some sort of gate over here that cuts off that way comes, I'm guessing, all the way around. It doesn't have to be super neat. Again, this is just a, just a sort of a, you know, messy, dirty, sort of pirate thing. And then over here, maybe I'll put like a little mining house here, you know, something cool, something, something, something interesting and something, something, just, you know, something very cool. But again, I don't know why I'm still here rambling. Let's get to work. All right, guys, we are officially finished with a little bit, just a little bit. So we have our nice little chapel here and a quaint little blacksmith shop. And I know what you're probably thinking, like, if this is a town about pi like, if this is a town run by pirates, why is there a chapel here? Like, pirates aren't religious, but true. So the story behind it is I'm thinking that the pirates took over this town and took it for themselves. So that's why there's this chop here that they turned into something else. But for starters, here's a little 360 outside view of it. Very, very nice. I do like this kind of roof style. At first, I went through about like three different like roof shapes before coming up with this like nice arch. Um, around here is like a gated out area. Again, very, very nice. Looks about the same on the outside on each side now the inside is my 
favorite part, so we're going to save that for last. But if we go around here, we have this gate that's uh, cracked open, um, going into a nice graveyard or uh, where the pirates have taken over and killed a lot of people. As you can see here, we got some zombie villager heads, um, one up here too, I believe. Yep, one right there. And then we have our skeleton head and a little Easter egg and some nostalgia. We have a zombie Mikey Mac head from the Halloween special. And now moving on to the inside, which honestly is my favorite part. This looks so good. Coming inside, you can see here, it's so beautiful. And with these pews here, these weren't in the timeless, but I added the pews and this lectern here as a last sort of thing, because I was trying to figure out what to do to fill in this extra space. And underscore bales suggested that I add church pews, which honestly, it makes it look amazing. The mangrove wood complements all the other colors so well. And we have a fully functional enchantment table right here. So yeah, this is where I'll be doing most of my enchantments if I ever need to. I know I'm pretty stacked right now. Um, other things will go in here like enchanted tools, enchanted books, lapis will go in here and I'll have anvils and grindstones on each side. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this chapel here, my first build. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to build like right over here. I might build like a little shack here or like a crypt. But moving on here, we have our quaint little blacksmith shop. Now this is just something I had in a previous survival world that I just kind of copied and pasted over into this world here. I might change this up, the grass path's not really fitting anymore. But the outside again, we have a nice little furnace on the outside and a cauldron to dunk all of the tools and hot weapons in. We have a windows looking in with the shutters. I decided to use, um, the chocolate trap doors is what I'm calling it because it, they look like chocolate bars, which is very funny. Um, because I feel like it fits very, very well with the spruce logs. And it just works. Like, you know, and it, not many people use them and because they look like chocolate. But I think this works. It's very, very nice. We have the nice little overhang here. Moving on to the inside. And again, the inside is not complete yet. Uh, I still need to add a couple more barrels, an armor stand or two, and some item frames for some weapons and such. But yeah, the nice it's very, very quaint. And we have a nice little chimney at the top here as well. So let me guys let, let me know what you guys think of this uh, stuff. I plan on doing each like, you know, so here will be like maybe a toolsmith. Uh, over here will probably be a house for a weaponsmith. And then over here would be a house for an armorer. And over here, I'm thinking about building a shack. Uh, like a mining house because it would make sense for all these to be in a row and then mining house because they all do their thing In which I was gonna build those but uh, the time-lapse was getting to be a bit long so I decided to save that for the next episode and it allows me time to do another thing in this episode getting ready for the holiday season and of course this plan is at spawn where everybody hangs out like the eternal trials the pop-up shop uh this is where everyone gets their news from and here it is two lovely lovely christmas presents and a book it says welcome to the eternals smp secret santa there are two presents, one big one and one little one. The bigger present has the names of each member in the Eternals SMP. That is who you'll be gifting to. Here is where it gets interesting. Instead of coming up with a gift yourself, the smaller present has a fun task for you to do for the person you get. Even though there is a prompt to follow, be as creative as you want with it. Each member will bestow their gifts to each other on the Eternals SMP Holiday Special. Do not reveal who you got in your episode, otherwise it wouldn't be a secret, Santa. Have fun and happy holidays. And just as a little example here, like I said, the big present has the names and the little present has the tasks to do. I'm gonna give you a little bit of sneak peek. This is just for fun. This is not gonna be my thing, okay? So, say if I were to click it, I would get, oh, Mikey Mac. And then I would move over and select this one. And it says, give them a nice shiny gift. So pretty much, again, it's just the tasks. I'm gonna put all these back now because I'm not gonna draw yet. I'm gonna wait until next episode to draw. But that is our lovely, lovely secret Santa. And again, all the gifts will be bestowed on our Eternals SMP holiday special. Very, very exciting. 
Alright guys, but I feel like this is a perfect place to end off this video. It was so productive, and I thank you for your patience, because my other videos have been quite lackluster, and this is, I feel like, the most productive episode we have. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!